All right. Welcome back, guys. If it's your first time, my name is Sandy, and welcome to the channel, Sawing with Sandy. If it's not your first time, welcome back. In behind me here, you guys can see my tractor. We're going to fill that up with fuel here in just a second, and then we're going to get some siding, at least the process of getting some siding started. Now, let's just uh, pop out here and see what we're dealing with. You guys can see here, and don't laugh, I got a treadmill here. I got to move from there, but that's not where the treadmill workout station is going to be. It's where stuff like this is going to be. You guys can see some snowmobiles here, the golf carts, etc., etc. This shed right here, I got to get some siding on, and I think I'm going to start by putting siding on three sides. And so, in order to do that, I need to first get some lumber. If you're not new to the channel, you know that I don't tend to go to the lumber yard when I need lumber. I go out to the woods. That's what we're doing today. After I fill up the tractor, I'm going to take that out to the woods, take my trusty Husqvarna, and we're going to get some trees in the ground. And that'll be the beginning of the lumber process. And just to make sure that I don't have too much waste, I'm going to measure the height of the siding I need so that when I'm out there bucking the logs to length, I can cut them just over the finished length. And that way I don't have too much, uh, too much waste wood. So I'm going to do that, take some measurements, fill up the tractor, then we're going to get out to the woods. Got up here quite early this morning because it is going to be a warm day and the humidity is quite high here in the middle of the summer here in Ontario, Canada. And so I'm going to get down to work. Hopefully the bugs don't bug me too much. I don't know when they're going away, but they tend to be here for quite a while in the summer, which is unfortunate, but I guess the alternative is snow. So I'll take the bugs for now. Anyways, let's get down to work. I got to get my safety gear, get the fuel, get the chainsaw, get all the equipment associated with the chainsaw, and we'll be out there cutting. Here we go. I like to just clean the dust off it just to be sure. I know many of you guys have said I need one of those transfer pumps and I agree with you I need a lot of things and unfortunately it hasn't made its way to the uh, way to the checkout card into my shop here maybe one day And just like many of you guys know your routine for the morning, you get up, you make coffee, you brush your teeth, maybe you shave, whatever, whatever. Well, here when I'm out going to work, I end up having to put on the deep. Not the best situation. I don't like doing it. But I tell you, the alternative having bugs crawling in my hair and everything else is not a fun oh, situation. My trusty 555, this thing's been around the block and come back. Luckily it keeps coming back because this is my main saw here. Just see how the teeth are doing, they're pretty good. Let's put some fuel in this thing. I tell you Huskies, they got this, this flip out uh, fuel cap. I love these things. I don't know if you guys have used the old ones on a Husky, but it sure is not as nice as these. We'll get our fuel mixture. I tend to run 50 to 1 in all my saws. Typically all my small two strokes, they get 50 to 1. And I'm pretty good at not being able to see, as you guys could see that. I overfilled it. You guys have mentioned before that I got to start wiping away the dust and debris from the 
the fuel caps before I put stuff in it. And you're absolutely right. Some days I'm better at that than others. And this is all I use for bar oil. I've been using this for years. This is the uh, local Canadian tire uh, bar oil. I just make sure to put the summer and spring mix in here. Is it summer and spring? Yeah. There we go. And that should be that. Might as well just check the air filter before we go out. Let me just grab my scrunch. Actually looks pretty good. Mind you, it's not brand new by any means, but uh, I think it's pretty good. Put a bit of air out it, don't want to put too much here. Just button up this chain just a little bit. I don't like them too tight here. It's probably going to be in the range. Before I tighten this, I put a block underneath just to hold the bar up. Just as if you were cutting, it puts pressure upwards on the bar so that when I'm tightening it, it tightens it in the position where it'll likely end up. That way it doesn't go slack on me because the bar moved after I start cutting. Okay, get on there. I'm going to call that good. Okay. All right, I'm just going to mark the tooth I start on. And I, I tend to go this way. Uh, sometimes I go this way. I just try to keep it consistent. I don't know if you guys can see if I go that way. Let's move you around here. How about there? You guys see me better? I'm just going to count the number of strokes. One, two, three, four, five. That's probably all I need. That's probably, probably could have got away with even less. Two, three. And there's my mark, so we're good to go. On the other side. And that's it. And we'll just check the depth gauge. And you guys can see this thing's made by Who Oregon. You can uh, pick them up probably anywhere. I just put it over the two teeth and I just check to make sure that the depth gauge in between the cutting teeth isn't sticking up. And they're probably in good shape because I just took them down not all that long ago. I think we're in good shape here. All right, we're good to go. Let's head to the bush. You guys like that? A little custom jobby. One of the downsides here of these small compact tractors is I don't have a heck of a lot of space. One of those cargo boxes on the back might be in my future, but for now we're kind of kind of having to move stuff. Whatever I do, I got to make sure it doesn't go near the controls, so I'll probably move the stuff in my feet. Anyways. Let's fire up the glow plugs. Believe it or not, they come on every time, regardless of the temperature outside. Don't stay on very long.
Okay, let's go.
right guys well the humidity is building it's definitely getting warmer out here but i'm glad i got a good start i got three trees in the ground and that's normally about what i can get processed and not have any get uh, bugs in it so i'm going to leave it at three trees for now i'm going to throw some of the brush out of the way i'll deal with that another day once we get the brush out of the way then i'll get the tractor in here we'll pick up the logs go load them at the sawmill and that'll probably be it so here we go It just takes me a few minutes to hand bomb them into a pile there and then I come by with the grapple and pick the whole pile up. If I'm driving over the limbs trying to pick up the logs, last thing I want to have happen is one of these limbs jam up into the tractor and well, who knows what that would cost.
Well, guys, we made it. I got a coffee that's still warm, and we got a pile of logs there. I'd say that is a pretty good outing. If we look here, these are all red pine, and I've cut them all to about seven foot length. Finish length, I'm going to do uh, just a bit under that. What I'm going to do next is I need to obviously get these cut into some lumber. I'm going to be doing that up here, and if you guys haven't been here before, this is the Hillbilly Hideout version 2.0. This is the sawmill. Before I get that cut, though, I got to take care of some other chores. And if you guys have a sawmill, you know exactly what those chores include. That's slab wood. You guys can see the offcuts of the slab wood behind me. I've got a fair pile of it, so I got to get this out of the way. There's no point of adding to this pile and having it fall all over the ground. So I'm going to go scratch my brain about that. Probably look around for any bees to make sure that there's no nests in there ready to get me. And I'm going to enjoy my sludge here, aka coffee if you haven't been here. Guys, I appreciate you watching. This has been a great outing. It's really nice to get outside, have a, uh, have a breath of fresh air, put some sweat on the brow, and you guys all take care out there. Be well. I'll see you next time. And guys, if you haven't done so already and you like this video, give it the old thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Thanks very much. Cheers.